Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this may be a little bit shaky because obviously I am doing this by hand but this is my brand new craft space. If you've seen my last craft tour, I'll pop it in the description for you guys down below, um, then you will have noticed that I used to have my stuff like all over the house, <laughs> like different rooms, I had a filming room, bits and pieces all over the place. And just lately, with some of the changes we've been making to the house, um, you know, we kind of sat and decided that it's time all my crap was out of the way in one place. So, hence a craft room. I'm going to walk you through my room and bits and pieces. Now, uh, this side of my room is <laughs> my vanity because obviously I still need somewhere to get ready. So I've got a vanity chest uh, dresser here with my mirror and then these drawers just here have um, like makeup and hair and, you know, usual getting ready items, jewelry's in the bottom one, I think, if I remember right. Um, that's my laminator down there, randomly. Um, I have this gorgeous lamp that I've always loved, uh, my little geek piece, that is a Final Fantasy uh, <laughs> collector's item, and like, one of my favourite pictures ever that my husband hates, so it's in the craft room out of the way, and just a picture that I did a while back. So, um, that is kind of the non-crafty section of my room. And then when we pan around, um, we've got this big um, box unit that's actually two units that I've attached together um, that I've recently purchased for the room. It has all my pencil cases and pencils up top. These are, obviously you guys know, I've got my card channel uh, set up now, so you guys know that I'm into cards. So I've got boxes here that have metal die cuts, uh, clear stamps, stencils and embossing folders. More, more pencils. Alcohol markers. That folder there has all of my postcard pages in it. This is paper, uh, all in by colour for my card making. Um, these are my Paper Craft Society boxes. Um, those are foam sheets. This is all card and paper. Uh, more alcohol markers. Those are crafting, like my large bulk um, tools. I've got a laminator, uh, the memory keeper all in one, a stencil circle, uh, a circle cutter. That's my tiny little... Um, what do, you, what do you want to call it? My tiny die cutter um, and I've got my cutting plates for my Gemini which is behind me. Uh, and then in my boxes I've got, um, I don't actually remember what I've put in things already. So those are card bases. Um, we have like just spare bits of um, like trays and things like that. Uh, that's all my quilling stuff, which I hardly ever do. These are spare containers. I'm terrible for that, but I don't like to throw containers away because then you need them. So like empty boxes and trays and um, little cases, my little silver baskets that you see on my shelves, I use those all the time. So I have those. And then this one is just like wrapping items, you know, like, uh, wrapping paper and the little cute balls that go on top of packages. Um, I have my, this is one of my favourite paintings, it actually looks like that. <laughs> um, but it needs to go up on the wall. Ignore the packing boxes, that's for um, stuff I'm doing. Then I have um, my kind of colouring desk vanity area over here and um, obviously this has got all card making and crafting supplies in these are my to film projects my desk with all my stuff set another set of alcohol markers these are my like uh, projects that i'm working on so set by page my bookcase is up here the only thing that isn't in this room now for me um, that I'm missing is my colour bar numbers. They wouldn't fit on here, they're on a bookcase downstairs, but everything else crafted is in here. 
Um, so kind of buy item, if we're going to do this properly, I guess we will show you. These are card projects I'm working on. Scraps. Die cut pieces that I've kind of, you know, already caught and sat and I just tend to piece things together as I go. Spare adhesive, so like mem uh, foam, double-sided tape, things like that. One empty drawer. I know, I actually managed to find a bit of empty space. Um, little acrylic blocks for stamping, some stamps, some punches and my easy stamp. Uh, this is the Vesson creative one and this is a brilliant it, you pop your stamp in and it lets you re-stamp in the same spot uh definitely must have my smaller guillotine i've got my big one up there but this is the one that i use all the time uh oh i just a little bit back and i will do a video um on my card channel of how um, I do these because they're so fun. This is where you melt your hot wax. I've got the little, um, like the press embellishments for it. And then you put your candle under there. And I have the little wax beads in colours that you melt. And you create the little flat wax seals. Um, very fun for envelopes and even card embellishments. This... <laughs> This is my pants embossing collection. I'm working on this. Uh, <laughs> so this is a really, really old heat gun that my sister gave me. It's even taped, so it's kind of dangerous. I'm probably going to have to invest in a new one at some point. Um, this, uh, These two embossing powders I got in a subscription box. This one I got from Tonic Studios in their sale. This is a Nouveau Embossing Powder in pearl luster uh, as i say i am i am working on that i will collect some embossing stuff that is the quilling project that i'm in the middle of this has the touch new markers in uh, i'm not a massive fan so i am going to be passing those along um on top so it gets a bit bright here i've got kind of my case with all my bits and then this used to sit on my old desk. It's got my finger sleeves and gloves, little foam, um, you know, spare bits of, you know, rubbers, razors, uh, tortillions, uh, Tipex runners, pencil holders, the usual. And then my drawers. I'm sorry for this. These squeak like mad. These are the Alex 5 drawers with the um, tabletop pieces that you can get to go on them. And this is a really, really old dining room chair. Uh, yeah, it's not a posh craft room, people. It's a, you know, do the best with what you've got kind of craft room. This is just my bits and pieces for colouring. And these are all my glue. So, um foam backings, double-sided tape, little mini pieces, tape rollers, salad tape and one glue pen sort of thing. Uh, back there are blending sponges. Draw number two is beautiful. This is card embellishments or things that go on top. I've got kind of my big massive box of pearls that I love, box of bubbles, uh, clear pearls, um, these little confetti nouveau, I've got sequins and beads, leaves, uh, underneath I've recently picked up some really cute little um, silver scrabble letters, thought that'd make a cute card, uh, what else have I got, I've got these cute little coloured pegs and then these are all just um, kind of, you know, different beads and stickers and embellishments i've got some butterflies uh, lovely lady got me these owls i've got different stickers underneath there and some pearl adhesives and some rhinestones so a little bit of all sorts in the embellishment category there everything paint uh, black gesso inks acrylics uh, the white ones are watercolors and I've got some of my bigger acrylic pieces in the back there and one plastic palette. Uh, from there we have uh, my tea ruler is just there. 
my corner stamp like punch um and then i've got these two beauties i bought these two containers recently from the range and i've got all my crafting embellishments so we have pre-made bows um i can't remember what you call those but they're the little posable twizzly legs uh, little foam pieces some wood pieces some metal string i suppose you call it but it's metal uh, my little embellishments so they're all diamantes uh, some of these are oh my word one-handed um the little wax seals that i've already made so as i said you guys if you want to see that let me know and i will um, show you how i make those below we've got some little cogs um some little fun bobbles those are hot stickers um diamantes in color some tiny hearts these are little paper flower pieces um my wood embellishments love these balls and then this one mainly houses <sighs> these are all um ribbon but like that gauzy version of ribbon and uh, more pearls because i had so many these are like little fake diamonds thought they'd make for nice shaker pieces um some lace ribbon some cool stripy ribbon um and then i have i stole these off my husband actually and um, these little demon eyes look at those i only have two pair so they're a little bit precious but thought they might be fun for something so that is that and they just sit in there quite nicely sorry guys i have to put things back or I'll end up in a bit of a mess and then we have my glitter drawer uh i'm not a mass glitter fan to me so i've got my pencil cases in the front spare i've got some foiling stuff here i haven't tried it yet but i've got some of the foil i've had it forever i think i got it in a sale somewhere why do we do that like, oh i'll pick up foil in the sale even though i don't foil um these are all mica powders in different colors got those when i was doing resin and i do have some gold leaf which is uh always very pretty for things and then just random different like <laughs> this looks like drugs doesn't it it's glitter people it's glitter it's iridescent it's fine um just random different glitters in here these are all dry glitters none of them are glitter glues some pretty versions of things so i just keep that in there don't think there's anything further back and then whew, over here on my other side we have kind of my everyday tools um little roller this is the thing i put my glue on some tweezers all my little you know just bits and pieces for different projects i've got all my dotting tools in here uh, little spoons anything really one lighter just there i don't smoke haven't done for a really long time now but you just sometimes need a lighter um, and then different scissors so i've got this cutting tool my little um sharpies there a couple of spatulas and just some nice sharp scissors i think there's just little bands back there and i have a sponge because i do use those they're useful again tools i have those weird scissors that do like the different shaped edges lots of little different blades that go on there clips spoons a drill uh, this is for removing dye pieces so along with that little sponge and then my set of brute funa olds just there handy for when i just need a pencil uh, from there this is all my washi tape problem it it goes all the way back there um lots of washi it's a good job i'm doing cards i need to start finding ways to use all this stuff oh i'm on a washi ban not allowed to buy anymore and then this is all ribbon and rope string i've got like this came in like a uh like a what's the word is it crochet 
crochet magazine a project never did that but i've kept it in case i use it on my cards and this drawer is all my kind of um watercolor collections my neo twos um my colero these are from grabby this is my little art spirit set i've got some of the japanese color and the komorebe uh, and then some Palette Pastel by Jane Davenport. I've got some chalk for some reason. And the Mungyo Soft Pastel, I love those. Those underneath there are the Pentel Oil Pastels. And I just keep all those together. And then that is diamond painting stuff. Um, I've got my diamond paintings in another drawer, but this is all like, you know, the bits and pieces. Those are spare drills. Um, this is drills from my big project. Um, you know, like all the little trays and pens and stickers. Underneath there are all the different tubs for things. And then I got this cute little bad boy from, um, I got it from Lidl, a little supermarket for a tenner. And uh, it's essentially like a bathroom caddy and uh, really useful. So I've got these little, I've got these from Pound Stretcher, um, little baskets for my brushes and things to go in. And then I've just got all my Nouveau and Stickles and uh, Dovecraft and glitters and glossy accents up here with some backing paper and my colour wheels and then underneath there I've got my acrylic mat for working on because it's like washable I've got some um you know sticky pastes that's the uh, cosmic shimmer sparkle texture paste in frosty dawn I've got some of the nouveau embellishment mousses my glass cup for when I'm water watercolouring um uh little spray jars one has water one has alcohol in it my glues and then in the bottom it's just like you know useful items tissue cotton wool buds flash wipes um one of these apparently some vaseline and then like you know zest it and satin glazing and my stamp cleaner different mediums some rubbing alcohol that is gesso and then a stick and spray and a fixative and I have some acetone back there as well. This is probably boringly in depth for you, isn't it, guys? But, you know, you're going to show a craft room. You've got to show the bits, I guess. Um, so, that is my, that's my spare. I've got a spare box of uh, Astro Pastel or two spare boxes of... What's like brute funa squares those are my wooden display pencil cases they're actually empty uh that is my wedding album a couple of little bits and pieces and all my books this is like my project bin so these are the books i'm working on at the minute i've got like um information books in the back you know like the um how to kind of books uh, and those are just quilling projects this is a project. This is my posh gel pens. <laughs> um, gel pens. So I have like a big drawer full of gel pens, like cheap gel pens that I use when I'm colouring. And these are my embellishment gel pens. So these are things like Sakura Jelly Roll and Souffle and Stardust. Um, I've got some of the Signos. Um, the Pentel. What else? They're like a knockoff version of the glaze uh, and some of the moonlight. Yes, I love this beautiful, beautiful pack of pens and I tend to reach for it a lot so hence why it's sat just there. On top of here is my Gemini. This is my electric die cutting machine. Uh, I'll be honest, didn't like this when I first got it. Watched quite a few bits and pieces on it. There is a learning curve and some tricks to this, um, which I'll probably do a demo on my other channel soon. Um, and now I love it. Now I love it. I've got my little one and I found that and that just works really nicely together. That is my big 
big mama diamond painting project along with the little case full of gem bottles for it um, and then we have my chest of drawers which now houses spare random pencils uh, kind of the ones I don't really use to be honest that are probably on the chopping block I have been trying to oh my draw of shame this has uh, my husband has a real sweet tooth and when he goes shopping I have to hide the couple of things that are mine <laughs> or they get it so if you could not tell him where they are I'd really appreciate that underneath that is gift bags uh, bear with me guys heavy drawers Ooh. Quick sneak peek, that's all you get. That is my haul drawer. Um, so when I get new stuff in, I chuck it in there so that I can do my video and then pop it away. So, spoiler, this is my crazy spares drawer. We have spare foam tapes and like um, glue tape, glue, trace, um, the Spectrum Noir sparkle pens because I love these. I got a spare set of um, Sakura Souffle because I love those. They're like a cheap knockoff version of the sparkle pens. I've got spare Jelly Roll uh, Uni Roll Signor. Spare gel pens. The Madness knows no end. Uh, and just notepads and just anything that, you know, is just extra that I've got ready. Before I buy something, I check out my drawer. I've got a spare to go because you need one of those in your life. <laughs> Um, and then this bottom drawer is just uh, diamond painting. So I've got diamond painting projects, all the gems under there. I do have a couple of paint by numbers rolled up in there as well somewhere. So they all live in there. Right, we're nearly there, guys. Final thing. So we have my um my super colourful caddy. This top one is it's boring stuff. It's just like, you know things that I need. Second one at the moment is empty. I've been using this for my rough paper that I stick behind my pages. We have my gel pen draw of shame. Close that back up. Uh, this is my Posca. I've tried a couple of different kind of um, acrylic pens now and I just like my Posca. So we're back to Posca. I got, these are a couple of different sets that I've purchased. Um, so yeah, I've got one of those liquid chrome uh, Molotov chrome pens, they're cool. And one of these Decacolor Premium Prime in the gold. And it's kind of got me, I'm kind of covered, sorted, happy. Um, I was considering doing like a, a supply run and going through like showing you everything I have in my craft room and actually telling you you know what I love what I don't what I'm getting rid of what I'm you know always a bit like mm. uh, so if you guys are interested in that do let me know below and I'll, I'll do that like a little run through of the colouring things that I have and what mm, may not be here the next time you see this my beautiful I'm not even ashamed of this <laughs> I love this I use gel crayons all the time I love them I've got about six different versions I think um the gelatos the king art uh the silky crayons uh by TBC, some distress crayons by Ranger. I can never remember when, what these are called. Uh, nope, still can't remember. And I've got the shuttle art in here somewhere as well. Love it. Uh, this is my stamp collection. I've mainly got the little Sukineko Memento Dew, Dew Drop inks. That's most of my collection. I've got a couple of these Spectrum Noirs. I grabbed a Versafine in black for my stamping for cards. Um, and in my Paper Craft Society boxes, I've received a couple of these. I got a Nouveau one in my Tonic Studios box. Um, and this is my like, embossing sticky ink by Sizzix. I've got a couple of distress inks back there. I am collecting a little bit, I'm working on it. Um, those are like embossing pens. Are they? Yes they are, embossing pens. Um, 
So yeah, I'm collecting all things pan pastel. Uh, got a few different sets of those. Those that's my skin cut on set that comes in the palette, and then just lots of spare soft tools. Be careful when you close that drawer. Um, felt tips. I have the hundred. Um, what's the word? What company is it? Uh, it'll be here somewhere, I'd imagine. Oh, can't. Crayola, that's it. I have the Crayola set, and then I have this fibro colour set, which is exactly the same thing. And then like hobby craft ones, and they're just felt tips, like random Faber Castell in there, all my uh, hobby world, yep, just whatever felt tips I've got going on. And then an empty. So nice to have a couple uh, to grow into. And then I have, yeah, this ridiculous drawer. So this is my original Oh Who Who um, like brush marker set. These are just water-based pens. I've got my Sharpies. And then out underneath there, I've got all my fine liners. I've got the... Uh, the big iconic set by Arteza fine liners and I've got quite a few of the Stabilo ones because I really like the Stabilo ones they're my favorite um, I think I have a few I thought I had another brand as well but I might not uh, these are all my colorless blenders in the front and then metallic pen don't bother don't waste your money Blech, they're going I can already tell you that now uh, then metallic pens are never metallic there's just they're just not uh, this is a real treat to try and get closed again sorry guys I'll tell you what I'll uh yeah I never use that draw um I'll leave that to sort it out later so yeah I hope this was I don't know vaguely interesting in some way so yeah I am so pleased it's so nice to be able to obviously this is my filming setup that's my um, camera on my webcam got a spare light and then these two light boxes as well so that I can film uh, and shut the blind but yeah um, I'm so pleased can't wait for my picture to go up that'll be nice just to have all my things in one place they all fit I don't know what I'm going to do when I buy more I've got enough room for one more pencil case <laughs> We deal with that problem when we get to it. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. As I said, if you want to make like a run through of what I love, what I don't, what is probably going to go, uh, I'm also considering maybe um, filming my colouring book declutter because something has to do with that. Something has to be done. Um, obviously, everything goes to you know homes nothing goes in the bin and yeah as always guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'm sorry for the shakiness and being all over but these are quite hard to um film while you're trying to do everything all at once and as always guys if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video thanks for watching